Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my makeup recommendations for summer. My favorite makeup products for lasting the longest, for surviving the heat, for having SPF sun protection, for being sweat proof, water resistant, all the things. Now I live in Vegas where it's notoriously hot in the summer, where it's over 110 degrees or about three months of the year. I'm also the owner of Doors Custom Cosmetics. And before going into beauty and fashion, I was a professional dancer. So all of my life from the age of three, I was on stage under stage lights. So you used to have to wear makeup that was very sweat resistant and would last for hours because sometimes we'd do matinees, we'd do evening performances, and it was a long day. So I know all about making makeup last. I've also worked with a lot of different makeup artists. So I have lots of tips from them as well. So I'm not going to talk about summer skincare and the SPF you need, but a lot of the makeup products I have today do have SPF in because obviously it's such an important part of our summer skincare, our makeup, and it needs retouching throughout the day, which can be tricky if you don't want to mess up your makeup. I'm also going to share different product options with you depending on your skin type, because obviously I'm a huge fan of glow screen. If you have oily skin, you're probably going to hate this. This is not going to be the product for you. So I have different product recommendations for your SPF primer, for your foundations, for blush, everything like that, depending on your skin type. So you can choose what's right for you. So I am going to start with the Glow Screen SPF 40 because it's a beautiful product. I use it on my non-makeup days and it just comes off. There's a few different colors. It gives the most fantastic glow. I find it very hydrating. When I use it, I like to use minimal products in the summer because the less chance of everything just sliding and melting off rather than just gripping. So I tend to use this as my moisturizer and SPF and a bit of color if I'm not doing foundation. And then I'll also use it under my foundation as it doesn't peel. So this is just a beautiful multitasker. It also has blue light protection. Now, if you're oily, skip this. And I would do something like Hello Sunshine Invisible Sunscreen. It is a serum, moisturizer, and primer in one, but it's oil-free. It doesn't have that glow to it. So I think this is going to be a much better product for you. It's also SPF 50. And this has no color. So that's an option if you don't want color in your base, if you just want a pure sunscreen, serum, and moisturizer a great option if you want some color again if you have an oily skin this is a new product from it cosmetics it's a cc natural matte base it's spf 40 it's color correcting and it is full coverage so this is what i would consider a foundation primer serum everything in one versus needing this and your foundation so this is a great quick step maybe if you're going on vacation really really good it lasts really well and that has your spf in i was trying to see if it's waterproof it's not waterproof it's not sweat resistant but i have a tip for that when i get to the setting sprays i'll get to in a little bit the other option as well if you want a color corrector i really liked this it's shiseido and i found this lasted all day without powder i don't necessarily like using powder in the summer i will get to that because i will do i still do powder makeup i'll do a cream and a powder layered to make it set but i don't like to keep adding powder to take off the shine in the day because i just feel very cakey with it this is a beautiful product if you want color and don't want powder the it is great but it is full coverage versus this being buildable coverage so i don't want to confuse you so let's kind of go through the lowdown of those products again so glow screen brilliant if you have kind of drier skin or want a glowy finish some color the it cosmetics is great if you want a matte color free finish the Shiseido, again, if you want buildable coverage, if you have oily skin, and then the It Cosmetics, if you want a one and done product with everything in with full coverage. I hope that kind of clarifies it, but they're my favorite summer makeup products for your base. So this was a foundation recommendation I had for SPF coverage for oily skin. If you have drier skin or are worried about aging, this is my all time holy grail foundation for 365 days a year it's a dior capture total super potent serum foundation it's spf 20 so not enough spf but still it's i like adding on it's still spf what i like about this is it's a beautiful hydrating foundation without feeling oily and it has their super potent serum in so i feel like it's a really really good product i wouldn't necessarily wear serum underneath this it's kind of a two-in-one product for me the color's beautiful it lasts really really well but this would be my top pick if you have slightly dry, more kind of mature skin, if you want that age-defying serum foundation. I love it. It's just very, very hard to get in the color I use. It's always sold out, so I'm going to keep my eye out for this one. For my blush, I have kind of two different things I use depending on the look I want and how long-lasting I want. 
Now this is a makeup tip I got from one of my makeup artists and she likes to layer cream and then powder, the powder being kind of the setting powder for everything. I will do that on my eyebrows with an eyebrow pencil and then an eye powder. I'll do it on my eyes with a cream and then the eyeshadow powder. I'll do it on my cheeks with a cream blush and then the powder. So it's just a really, really good way of making your makeup last in the summer. So two of my favorite beauty products for the summer is one, the Dibs Stick. This one is the You Do You Blush and the Mood Boost Bronzer and it's a two-in-one stick. So I love it for traveling and I will use this bronzer to go in and contour and I will kind of literally paint my numbers with lines with this and then I will blend it out with my contour powder and my contour powder is a matte I don't like using a shimmery contour a shimmery bronzer yes but contour I like to be matte so I'll use these two products together underneath and then over to blend it out then on my cheeks, it's such a beautiful pink for the summer. It's like almost like a dollar pink. I will go, on, go in, I will put that on, and then I will go in with a matching pink blush. I really like this Dior blush over the top, almost like to set it. So it's less chance. With the cream, I love it because it's hydrating, it's less aging, but it does tend to then slide on hot, humid days. That powder just helps set it and make it last longer. If I want kind of that golden goddess, really glowy bronze look, I will wear Charlotte Tilbury Peach Gasm. I haven't found anything that beats this and I tend to apply it with a little brush, dab it in. The only thing with this is it does tend to fade out quickly. That's where you're going to go in with your setting spray. You do need to use a setting spray with this because if you powder over the top, you're gonna you lose the beautiful glow of it. But this is amazing. You can also use it on your shoulders in the summer. A really, really gorgeous shimmery product that I actually have on right now. And I feel like that settles in the lines around my eyes less than a powder does as well. So another benefit of that. When it comes to my eyebrows and my eyelashes, when I'm on summer vacation, if I'm going to a beach destination or somewhere hot and humid, it's different how I would do it to my summer makeup in Vegas. So in Vegas, I will. I'll do my eyebrow pencil and my setting powder. When I'm traveling, because I have my eyebrows microbladed, I tend to not even bother with my brow makeup. I will use this as my base. I'll use a bit of bronzer and then I'll just let the microblading do its thing. Then when it comes to my lashes, I tend to a lot of the time, if I'm going on a beach vacation, do lash extensions. It just saves having to try and like scrub off waterproof mascara at the end of the evening, which is always a nightmare. So if you want to do a waterproof mascara, honestly, I haven't found the best brand for it. I think they're all pretty good. You use a lash primer, use that and you're good to go. Otherwise, definitely consider lash extensions if you're going on a vacation, just so you're not dealing with them every day. And it looks amazing by the pool. You look like you have makeup on. Now, when it comes to the eyes, I'm one of these girls that always likes to have color on my eyes, especially at night. I feel like if I'm not wearing any color, I just look washed out. I feel like it helps with the hooded eye shape as well. So one of my favorite eyeshadow primers, this is almost like a one and done product because it has color, is Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Sin. This is a one and done product. You don't even need to use eyeshadow with it because it's just this beautiful kind of like shimmery natural color. I absolutely love it. And you can wear this on its own. It blends out really, really nicely or you could wear an eyeshadow over the top, like a matte eyeshadow or a some kind of powder eyeshadow. That's almost going to set the primer even more and lock your color into place. So they really help each other last really, really well. The other thing, if you don't want to use a color primer, if you prefer that natural look, you could do something like Hydro Grip. They do a really lovely face primer and eye primer that has no color. Eyeliner wise, I'm an Urban Decay 24 seven girl. I feel like this is such a beautiful long wear eyeliner. It's what I have underneath right now. And I tend to go in with a brush like this to smudge it out. That kind of also, I don't even put powder on this. I use it dry. It just, I feel like pushes it into the skin. It helps it set and stops any kind of like running on a hot, humid day. And this one is waterproof as well. So if you have lash extensions and wanted a bit of liner, easy to pop on with it. If you have waterproof mascara, this is just a really, really good pencil. And it comes in loads of different colors. I have bourbon just because I really, really liked this color. It's just a beautiful kind of almost like sparkly brown, which just looks really lovely in the sunlight as opposed to being matte. When it comes to lipsticks, I tend to use my own. I use Dawes Custom Cosmetics because I can custom blend it. I can add the scent and flavor I want. Normally I do lime and coconut for a beach vacation because it always reminds me of being on vacation. Then when I use it again, I also always go for full coverage lipstick versus a sheer. The reason being is the pigment in it tends to give it more SPF protection naturally versus a sheer 
colors having less SPF, unless they've got SPF added to them. So I tend to wear the color I'm wearing a lot. It's Bora Bora. It's a universally flattering nude. It has blue undertones to make your teeth look whiter. And I feel like it's easy to wear from day to night. The second most important beauty product in your summer makeup routine or your makeup product, in my opinion, is your setting spray. And I have a couple of options. So the first one for me would be your primer, your SPF. That's obviously, I think, the most important. But it's not one and done with sun protection in the morning. You need to keep it topped up throughout the day. Now, I have tried setting powders. They are kind of great if you have oily skin. I feel like they're a really good option to keep powdered up. I just find with drier skin, with like fine lines and wrinkles, it tends to just look very cakey and too much makeup by the end of the day. So I prefer using something like this. This one is Soleil Toujours. It's clean conscious. It's SPF 30. I can spray this all day long over my makeup to keep it topped up, looking fresh. It doesn't move it and it adds SPF protection. So this goes everywhere with me. It's also tiny so I can throw it into my purse. If you're not looking for SPF protection in your setting spray, but you want to waterproof your whole makeup, Meron Barrier Spray, there is nothing to touch this. I have shot in waterfalls with my head in the water, going over with a full face of makeup, got in the shower, washed my hair afterwards, and my makeup has not budged. And I'm saying not has not budged. This stuff is like glue. It works phenomenally. And my friends recommended this to me who are on stage. They're a famous band and they use it all the time. They sweat under the stage lights. They do a long show. I said, like, you know what? I'll give it a go. It's so inexpensive and it's the best waterproof setting spray I have found. The only thing with it is it does burn a little bit. So you close your eyes when you spray it, let it dry down before you open them. It might tingle a little bit but an amazing product. And again, super small and portable. So you can use it a few times throughout the day. It just doesn't have the S protection. So it just depends what you're looking for, but both amazing summer makeup products. So those are my favorite makeup products for summer, for waterproof, for smudge proof, for sweat proof, for SPF protection. I'm gonna link all of them in the description below. Let me know if you have any favorites for summer that I should try that I haven't tried yet or I haven't mentioned today so I can get my hands on them and give them a go to. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.